So you want to make a game on Roblox, but there's a problem. You don't have a laptop or a computer or you don't have any coding experience. Well, don't worry because in this video, I will be showing you everything you need to know in order to make a Roblox game on your mobile device, whether it's an iPhone, iPad, or an Android phone. So make sure you watch this video until the end without skipping because if you skip, you might miss a very important step and your game won't work. But before we get into this video, I'm going to be giving this person right here 100,000 Robux. And there you go, if you want Robux just like that person, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on, and comment your Roblox usernames 10 times in the comment section down below. So as you can see, I am on my phone right now with Roblox open, and I will be showing you exactly on how to make a Roblox game on mobile in 2025. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you actually do have a public game, so what you want to do in order to do that is go to the bottom right corner of the screen and click on more. Then after that, what you want to do is click on the create button right here, so scroll down until you see this create button right here what you want to do is click on this and then once you click on create what you want to do is click on the three lines on the top left corner of the screen so what you want to do is click on this right here and then once you click on the three lines there should be home creations analytics finances location rights manager ads and open cloud what you want to do is click on the creations button right here now once you click on the creations button there should be a game right here already which every roblox account actually already has a game by default so what you want to do is click on that so once you guys are on the screen right here what you want to do is actually click on the three lines on the top left corner again and what you want to do from there is click on configure and under configure there should be a button that says settings what you want to do is click on settings and once you click on settings from here you can actually change the name of the game so just name the game to whatever you want put the description as whatever you want but for this video i will just leave it as it is then the most important part here is that make sure if your game is on private make sure it's public so what you want to do is switch it from private over to public and if your game is already on public then just leave it how it is now after that what you want to do is click on this button that says enable studio access to api services what you want to do is check that and what you want to do is scroll down and then click on save changes now after you click on save changes it should say change has been saved successfully so after that what you want to do is x out of this thing right here then what you want to do is go over to safari now once you have safari or google chrome open depending on what browser whatever you guys use what you want to do is head over to the roblox website which is where i am right now now from here what you want to do is click on the create button at the top of the screen right here so what you want to do is click on the create button right here so once you're on the screen right here what you want to do is scroll down until you see experiences now once you do see experiences you should see this roblox game that you have just edited what you want to do is click on this game right here now once you click on this game there should be an option that says view on roblox but what you want to do is hold down on that and then click on open a new tab so it doesn't force you to open the roblox app because we are on the browser right now on safari so what you want to do from here is click on the three dots right here and then once you click on the three dots there should be a button that says add to profile what you want to do is click on add to profile now after that the screen thing should pop up saying add it to your profile now after that what you want to do is click on the create button at the top of the screen right here once again but this time what you want to do is click on the three lines at the top left of the screen and then once you click on the three lines what you want to do is click on where it says open cloud right here so i'm going to click on open cloud then what you want to do after that is click on api keys now once you click on api keys what you want to do is click on create api key right here i'm going to create an api key just name it whatever you want i'm just going to name it mobile since I'm going to create this Roblox game on mobile for the description. Just put whatever you want. I'm just going to put a dot for the purpose of this video. Now for access permissions, what you want to do is click on select API system. And what you want to do is type in U N I then click on universe. Now, once you guys have selected universe, what you want to do is click on add API system right here. Then what you want to do is scroll down once again. And what you want to do is click on enter an IP address or CIDR. What you want to do is type in zero dot zero dot zero dot zero slash zero make sure you type this in correctly otherwise it might not work so this is the number right here then what you want to do is click on add ip address now after that what you want to do is click on expiration the api key will expire either on the specified expiration date or after 60 days of inactivity what you want to do is actually leave it how it is so just keep it on no expiration then what you want to do is click on save and generate key now once you click on save and generate key there should actually be this giant string of text that pops up right here what you want to do is click on copy key to clipboard and what you want to do after that is go back onto the roblox app now once you guys are on the roblox app from here what you want to do is click on the search bar right here is type in studio light 
So I misspelled it right here, but what you want to do is just type in Studio Light right here. And there should be this game right here where it says Studio Light by Scott Spirit Walker. That's the correct game. So what you want to do is click on this game right here. Now, once you guys are in this game right here, it should take you to a server. And what you want to do is click on close. And then this is like basically a mini Roblox studio that you guys can actually use from mobile. So like, as you can see right here, this is like basically a mobile version of Roblox studio. It's not, it doesn't have every single feature of the game, but basically you guys can actually create a game from here if you guys do have decent knowledge on how to make a roblox game on the pc version then you guys will also be able to make a game on this mobile version right here so if i click on toolbox right here it's actually going to show me some things that i can add to the game which i don't actually know how to do any of this but i'm just going to do this just to show you that you can make a roblox game on mobile so as you can see i just added these walls right here and a window so basically what you want to do from here is just to do whatever that you need to do in order to create your roblox game so just mess around with it and then you'll eventually find out how it works and then from there you can actually create a functioning game but for the purpose of this video just to keep it short i'm just going to publish it from here but what you want to do after you guys are done with making your game what you want to do is click on file on the top left corner of the screen now once you click on file this thing should pop up where it says new samples open or save what you want to do is click on save and then from there what you want to do is click on save as now once you click on save as what you want to do is type in the name of the game so i'm just going to type in test just to show you guys that this works so for the description i'm just going to put test so once you have put a game name and a game description what you want to do is click on this checkbox right here where it says publish and what you want to do is click on save now once you guys have saved the game what you want to do is click on publish to and then click on your roblox profile and then for replace what you want to do is click on that and then just put whatever game that you chose earlier then what you want to do is paste in the API key that you copied from earlier so basically I'm just gonna I have to turn my phone sideways in order to do this but there, I just pasted in my API key, which I'm going to blur this right now so you guys don't try to hack it. But what you want to do is click on publish right here. And then after that, what you want to do is actually to leave the game. So I'm just going to leave the game right now. And then if I go back to my Roblox profile right here, so my Roblox profile. And then if I go to view full profile and then I go to creations and then I go back to the game that I've just created. So if I go back to my game right here, then once I join the game, it's going to take me to the game that I've just created. So if this video did actually help you guys out, then be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if it worked for you. And if it didn't work for you, then leave a comment down below saying that it did not work for you. And if this video did not work for you for some reason, then don't worry because I will be posting an updated video on this if this ever does get passed or if it does ever stop working. So be sure to subscribe with post notifications turned on so you don't miss a new video. And I also post videos about how to get free Robux. And speaking of that, I did mention at the beginning of the video that I do give 5 lucky subscribers 100,000 Robux at the beginning of every new video posted onto the channel. So if you want some free Robux from me personally, all you have to do is like, subscribe with notifications on, and comment your Robux usernames 10 times in the comment section down below. But if you don't, that's perfectly fine as well. But if you do want to get free Robux for yourself without having to join the giveaway, click on one of the two videos on the screen right now or check the pinned comment of this video and there should be a tutorial on how to get free Robux.